How are y'all on Wolfax Lives? I think it's time to play a little Starfield. Alright, so we've just opened the door to the bombed uh, starport, right? Because our last... Our last... Uh, this doesn't look that bombed. Uh, <laughs> our last Terramorph sample is out here and moving. Which clearly means it's alive, right? I expected more, um, craters, I guess. Ammo belongs to me. Couple of crappy guns. A switch! Oh man. What do you think this does? I'm crippled? <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> I have severe frostbite, which is weird because I'm in a spacesuit. And I'm in freezing cold snow. There's nothing on here about being crippled. Well, let's see. What do we got? Uh... Yeah, let's treat my frostbite. I actually have a few things for treating heart frostbite. And then uh, I think it was purple. So use that blue one, but I... Okay, I can't I can't need a purple. It is definitely purpley looking though. It's not on my status. All that's on my status is that it's cold here. Okay, well I've fixed some frostbite anyways for now. Terramorph Thrall Bighorn and a scientist. Where's this bighorn? You told me there's a bighorn over here. Now there's some poor dead scientist. Really expected this place to be a little more destroyed. Like, Did you only drop anti-personnel bombs? Or is this not the spaceport that got bombed? Thumbs beeping. I'm curious as what those lovers are supposed to do. Listen, I'll come play with whatever's trying to eat, gonna eat my face off in a second here. I want to finish exploring, okay? One broke down spaceship does not equal a bombed out place. I don't know what is triggering off my side. Oh, it's you guys. This thing apparently is full of snow. Yeah, this place isn't bombed. I don't I don't know. There's just some broken down ships here. 
I don't see any scorch marks. Nothing's really broken. Although we are about to get our faces eaten off by the Terramorph boss, I assume. All right. You get down, I'm getting up. It's okay, I'm safe. I don't, know, I don't know about the rest of my people, but I'm safe. <laughs> well, as long as I heal from um, its roars. Oh, it didn't even hurt me. Remember the first one of these I ever fought? I mean, I never fought the... So I'm going to take out this first layer, okay? You guys fight this guy. I'll go do the thing that Percival wants. Okay, clearly he just wants me to flip those levers that I already flipped. Oh. Listen. Fatty plant eater, get out of my way. Oh wait, do you drop adhesive? Hmm. You do, though. Yeah. Give me that. Biological adhesive. Not these guys, though. These guys are mine. There's my level to get my hydroponics going in my base. Uh. Yeah, all I got is the same bullets I already had. But man, they really took out a lot of its health. Reloading. Ooh, I got 685 XP for that. They're not coming after us. I guess I guess we should grab that sample while we can. Go away, Kaiser. Shouldn't Kaiser just take oh listen. Dude, you're adhesive. I don't care. I'll I'll murder your entire species. You understand how rare adhesives are, okay? These little frog guys. They're mine. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Kaiser, seriously, dude. Why don't you just walk over here and take it? You're literally two feet away. How lazy are you for a robot? Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Look well, out, that guy's angry. Whoa. Come on, we gotta look for more of these frog guys, okay? Of 
clearly I need frog guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Got frostbite again. Am I overweight or something? What's going on here? I am a little bit overweight, it looks like. 194 over 185. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, sort. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, that's value. Yeah, weight is a thing. Oh, there's nothing really easy in here. Any little bit. There's really nothing in here. It's particularly heavy. Ammo doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> I do I do have a few frag grenades on me. Uh but even that's not that heavy. Yeah, I'm not willing to give that stuff up. What about in here? Do I have some things I don't need? Oh, this is... This guy, I don't think I tried this guy at all, did I? This shotgun. This 200 damage shotgun. All right, apparently there's nothing I'm willing to give up. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't I don't like the way these shotguns work. This is, uh, my other backpack was 75% health reduction. I mean, that worked pretty good. But, alright, let's, uh, let's spin my point in here. I need a point in outpost engineering. All right, so now we get out of here alive. Dang it, I'm frostbit again. Yeah, but do I at least stop being frostbit now that I'm inside? What is that? Yeah, see, my single shot sniper just works better. What? 
Hey guys, I don't remember how we got in here. I think it was here. I've got too many resources, I think, is what's happening here. And once I get back to my ship, I can um, unload all the junk. Not junk, but, you know, supplies I need. So now I want to stand around and wait for my stuff to regen, okay? I keep moving, guys. I remember there was a, there it is, an entrance I came through, I was going to say. Probably should have taken that pigment, I think, is another thing that I struggled to get my hands on. Everything's going hazy. I'm getting winded. Hey, what do you think happened to my team? Oh, there they are. Discuss your findings. Oh, is my ship up there? Is that just somebody I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, you're so winded, guy. Oh, yeah. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it's it? like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Yes. Ah, best place for him. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vay Victors knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. That's putting it lightly. But it's clear someone knows about the plant and realized what ends it could be put towards. Captain, we need to get these samples back to the lab and verify we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But in the interim, do you think you could look into what we uncovered? See if you can turn up any information on who might have committed the attacks? Of course. If it were me, I started the scene of the crime. New Atlantis. Thank you, Captain. Once you finish your investigation, we'll meet you outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to hear this. Take care of yourself. No telling who might be involved. I mean, didn't you guys come here on my ship? Are you not coming back with me? Can I keep Kaiser? Can I trade you Kaiser for... <laughs> Vasco? Yep. 
You know, if I had Vasca with me, I could have unloaded all this junk on him. I can't believe they're not coming with me. That's crazy. All right, take me to the cockpit. And then I will get up. And then I will... Mm, where is it? Here? I will transfer... Uh, resources. And then we'll also throw over uh, this guy. Beowulf is what I'm using, right? Yeah. Calibrated Beowulf. We can take a look at it, but I don't know that I necessarily need a second. Did I try this guy out? I don't think I like this guy. This is the, isn't that that one that shot in like six? Oh no, or was it this one? I honestly don't remember. I don't use them anyways. What, what difference does it make? I don't use them. Don't like them. Uh, okay. I only have them on me because I feel like I maybe could build a better gun off of them. Uh, you know, we're, we're down to 156 out of 185, so we're good. Okay, now we're going to take the tiny... Wait, I have a f bounty on me? Why do I have a bounty? What did I do? I mean, it can't be real, right? Because, I don't know, they did make me, they did make me stop at the starport. Oh, that guy just said no bounties. Somebody's a liar. Somebody lied. Try to get me in trouble. All right, well, we're here to mast, and we'll talk to old V. He knows what's going on. He knows what he did. See, I think this is the elevator right here, right? Subsection 7. To the basement. For another conversation with Ve Victus. Ve Victus. Every time I hear that or say that, it makes me think of Legacy of Cain. Suffering to the conquered. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find 
<laughs> Look at that grin. Yeah, well, I did. I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. My conclusion is you told everyone to go to the spaceport and then blew them up. Given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Um, yeah, so you really don't know anything about the attacks. Of course. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what you're describing? Yes, actually. So I'd very much appreciate your agreement to not share what you found. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to conclusions now, would we? You want to hear the words, then? I did it. Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. I assume it's the price of freedom. <laughs> There's an old game called Wing Commander. I want to say it's four. It's called The Price of Freedom. And it's all about this uh, dude who uh, instigates attacks on his own people because they won their war, uh, I think, in the previous game. Um... And so in four, uh, basically the military was being told to stand down and, um, he felt that the only way to keep everyone safe was to remain vigilant to outside threats. So he created an outside threat. Something amiss, Captain. Yeah, I was telling the story. Calm down, man. Right. Fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak. And sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Free Star Collective had spies everywhere. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Lindinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death. It was the only option that made sense at the time. Hmm... I mean, I get it, dude. I get why you did it. I just don't understand why you did the next set of attacks. Sacrificed when all we did 
was serve. So I kept what I <laughs> I mean, dude, you bloop a right spaceport full of civilians. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team. Oh, I get it. <laughs> or Lisa's that warlock dude. Um Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. I mean new faces are easy to come by. Okay, um... Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. <laughs> you just wait till I turn you in. Maybe more. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I already have one. think so evidence for Lazer's role in the attacks of the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was our lays and our lays alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Uh, let's see. We've got four choices here. I hope you enjoyed this talk. Uh, because once I tell the cabinet, it'll be probably your last. You know, I'm not sure I'm going to tell the cabinet. Fine, I'll make sure everything is pinned in our lays. 
You think I'm just going to forget the fact that you kill people to accomplish your good works? Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Kind of work. And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works mm. that don't cost lives. Whoever I needed to. Whether it's winning a war or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. But I don't think I've killed anybody who hasn't attacked me. So, there is that. You'll see the same. Have I? I think there's one time where I accidentally shot a ship I wasn't supposed to, but I'm pretty sure I had to reload my game so it doesn't count. <laughs> well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. I mean, I'm not squandering my opportunity, just yours. <laughs> there's no way I let this guy win, right? I'm not having crazy dude out of touch. I mean, I guess they feed, they must feed him information. Oop. <laughs> it's not the first time I've gone to that bathroom thinking it was the way out. All right, now we'll go wrap this up at the cabinet chambers where I Get lost where I hurt Hadrian's feelings. Hey, how do I get to the chambers? Oh, here we go. This isn't what I would call outside the chambers. What is this? Howdy. Random dudes just sitting in the room here. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news, the microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Yes. Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Ooh, here we go. That seems unlikely, considering he's been dust for about 20 years. I'm sure the captain just misspoke. Right? No, no, that's impossible. He's gone. My father is dead. Good God. You're not kidding. <laughs> I am not kidding. Say Victus is alive? How... How did you find him? Uh... How did I find him? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the council told me to go talk to him. Right? This isn't the truth. He didn't contact me. Did he? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure the council sent me to talk to him. Captain? Captain, please, go on. Listen, I'm thinking. Give me a second here, okay? I'm thinking. <sighs> I don't... This isn't the truth to me. I. Let's go with this one. It's not important? It's not important. My father is alive. I need you to tell me right now how you found that information. The council. The council gave it to me. Wait. You knew he was alive and didn't tell us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were sworn to... You... You swore. You were just doing your duty, weren't you? 
Yep. I guess I, of all people, should know what a burden that can be. Doesn't mean I'm not mad, but I guess you letting us know late is preferable to never. Now at least we can inform the cabinet and let them deal with him. You mean the way they have been? Exactly. The people he harmed deserve justice. But now, now I guess we've got our answer. Nothing left to do but put it all in front of the cabinet. Agreed. Any last things we needed to discuss? This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. I don't like it though. It seems the dangerous. Can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. No, you can't. I do know the science. Have you not seen Jurassic Park? That. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we are still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. I mean, I would suppose the cabinet is going to make the decision not weigh in Asilis aren't hostile to humans but they are mega fauna if someone decides to pick a fight with one it could get ugly i mean that's like but they've already been spread far fighting with a moose right when the uc was raising them as livestock so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches though it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be given what we know now about the lazarus plant the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Asilis, we're at least dealing with known risks. And here we go. I, I just, I feel like, right, now they know the heat leeches are a thing, people just stop being like, oh, look, there goes a heat leech. They'll be like, oh, there goes a heat leech, we gotta kill it, right? I mean, we're not talking like this is the only two things that are ever going to be done. No, they're going to start hunting down heat leeches. They're fairly docile, I think. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Yep. Is what I'm reading here true? My God. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once... I was going to say, did you not get the briefing? <laughs> So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Wait. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that <laughs> man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! It was minor, I though. Like one here understands that what has just been shared... <laughs> it was still a tragedy, don't get me wrong. ...highest order. It is a people died. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. Is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. <laughs> That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, man. Drew. Officer, 
Please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Ve Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. That's... That's truly disconcerting to hear. I don't know what their plan is. Cutting off Ve Victus's contact with the outside world is likely to be just the beginning of his punishment. Oh, here's keep him alive then. Okay. That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. Understandable. Um... Uh, okay. Weasel. <laughs> Death. Life. Listen, the good guy in me leans life. The logical me. <laughs> Leans death. <laughs> oh, this is hard. The D and D Silence me. Gets us nowhere close Listen, to lady, answers. this is a hard choice. Okay, can I please be allowed to think? The D and D character in me would murder this dude. Um, I'm gonna go life. I'm not sure. I see why someone with you see blood on their hands would merit leniency. You've kept him alive this but long because you think he's important. When the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such... The cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Um, I do believe the other factions should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Uh, tell the Free Star Collective. Wow. So they have another two. Because it needs to go in the cabinet. vault. I'm in agreement. I failed to see the value here. Uh, I guess I'll demonstrate the collective to the collective. The UC isn't playing so secretly. Use it down the line. Uh, the UC doesn't exactly have the best track record. This would ensure good behavior from both sides. Um, I'll go with this one because it sounds nicer. That is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions. That the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the collective involved. In I honestly thought the cabinet was Thank the you for the suggestion, whole Captain. group. I guess I forgot so what the then, big group was called. To our final topic. The cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleach's presence on human worlds. In fact, 
We've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. See, there you go. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. <laughs> like that anybody cares what I think Madam on this. President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. I agree. The Acelis are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps. The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I like the Asilis. I'm going with Asilis. I'm in full agreement. No need to be delving into unpredictable sciences. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. <laughs> then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. What do we get? What do we get? As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Mm. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. What was I before? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is oh rather impressive. A penthouse. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. I don't think it's quite as good as my reward for uh, becoming a... Becoming a, um... Ranger. I got a really cool ship for that one. I want to go see if I can talk to old uh, Ve Victus. I got a lot of activities updated here. You should head back upstairs. The Admiral's no longer in residence. Oh, where'd he go? The Admiral is no longer in residence. What's more secure than this place? Wait, do I need to talk to Tallulah? Twala? I've already forgotten their name. Informed us of your new status. Congratulations on making class one. 
Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a class one citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Yeah, and I'm a newbie, too. No need to thank me. You brought this on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your class one benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. Nice. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. All right. 12,000 credits. That... That's fine. That's fine. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. What about my old assignment? Standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? All of them. Suppose that's true. Well, we can remedy that right now. Transferring that to you. Done. Report cool. Says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colonies craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Notes mention. What can I do for you? Um. Extermination work. Oh, cool. I can, I can just get all of them. You ready to head out right now? Let's get to the details. Yours proud. Okay. Something to report? Uh. Nope. Apparently. These missions are straightforward. Proceed to the location and kill the critter before it can do any more harm. Just be smart. You're getting banged up too bad on your first hunt. Super at Ultra, Captain. Yeah, plus Ultra, right. Okay, I need... Um... I need my uh, penthouse. Where's my penthouse? I know that lady was out toward the um, Hello. the embassy. Uh, wherever that's at. Hi. Hey, Bobby. Who's Bobby? Why is he talking to me? We want Bobby. Don't get Bobby. It's you again. You too. These are my parents. I told everyone they just got on a different shuttle, but nobody would listen. We're just exploring New Atlantis. Cool. We have a new apartment. This nice. This is amazing. Anyway, it was nice to see you again. Maybe I'll see you around. And don't forget my birthday. It's today, June 11th. Okay. As far as I'm aware, it's January something, but you know, whatever. Uh, I think it's this place here, right? Or is this the weird church place? This is the church place. It's this one.
Yeah, here it is. I'm always ready to make a deal. Are you? Well, I'm ready to well, get my penthouse. Well, if it isn't the United Colonies' newest Class One citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service. Why'd you walk so far away? You're blurry. The nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Yeah, get me registered. Great. That's the whole reason I for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. Like, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've talked to you? Alright, how do I get to Mercury Tower? Where's that at? Spaceport. I really thought I was going to get a new ship. Okay, I wasn't expecting Mercury Towers to be in the spaceport. Also, that's my spaceship. This did not this did not switch to my apartment. <laughs> I wanted my apartment. This, this is what we should be locked on. I got stuff to do here. It came up and asked me to set this as my mission. And so I did. And then it didn't. All right, can we go back to the residential district? Where I assumed the penthouse was. So, what's the point? Mercury Towers. All right. Take me to my penthouse. I assume this whole floor is mine. Um... It's so loud. I got the penthouse next to the airport, apparently. Unknown. Somewhere out here should be my my base, right? Isn't it just outside the city? I feel a distinct lack of furniture in this area. 
A nice little kitchen. Got a weird empty room, which I assume is the pantry. Got a fairly empty shower area. Got no mirror. Got, uh, yeah, there's no furniture in this place. Okay, that's a better view of the city. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get furniture in this place. Got another bathroom. Nope. There's the utilities. The, uh, Washing machine, wow. My brain was just like, you don't know what that's called. When's the last time you used one of those? A week ago, thanks. Well, I am going to have to figure out how to get some furniture in this place, clearly. But, uh... I assume there's someone you can buy furniture from. Sometimes I can't get out of it. There's just stuff just pumping out in your face. Nobody in charge here. It's weird. It's weird there's no furniture. Like I, I don't even know where to go buy furniture. Alright, well, we saw my penthouse, so... Uh, we'll have to uh, choose the next quest line I want to go down, I guess, next time. So, with that, be brave in small things, lean to the light, and I will talk to you later.